This is Art of Presentation prepared by Ali Lafifi for University of Scholars for my students in textile, computer science, and diploma students. This is the fourth session. Uh, the table of content we're gonna start today, I have to tell that this video might be the most difficult one so far of the last three videos. This, of course, is a summary of the class but I will explain more in details in this video. So table of content, basically we had as exercise of story, telling a story, after graduation practice possibility, Maslow hierarchy of needs. So I had some sessions with students about exercise of telling a story. Some students, they were, did well. I mean, basically I told a story. So I told, I used the technique that I was teaching, how to tell a story, like how to present a presentation through telling a story. That was a practice I've done it. So we spoke about some historic event happened during the Abbasi time. A story happened to Harun Rashid at the time. So some of you actually heard it, I believe from computer science students. The second thing, some of the classes, when I came to class, we had less students, so we spoke about after graduation practice possibility. That was for textile, I believe. Textile student, regular, student, regular students. What to do, where to go, where is the best, boss, best country to establish your business, especially for textile, what to do, and so on. As well as computer science, we spoke about business economy and how can you present yourself in uh, different ways. So it was actually presentation, but it was delivering information. So the whole point of art of presentation is that you have an idea in your mind and you want the other person to understand you, regardless of the language is spoken. Sometimes people cannot speak the same language, but they can understand each other because of body language. It's not only how you speak. It's not you only speak to students, you can actually present yourself in different ways. So in this course, inshallah, we try our best to make you most adjustable as much as possible and more empowered. So last thing, and the most difficult possibly for, for this semester, is to understand this method, which is Maslow's hierarchy of needs. So there's a psychiatrist from US, his name, Abraham Maslow. He created a pyramid, it called, or triangle, called Maslow Triangle or Maslow pyramid or Maslow hierarchy of needs. Basically, what you need as a human to survive, you as a human anywhere in the world, what do you need to survive? What of things that actually require you to survive, to live a decent life, survival to establishing the full achievement possible. So he drew, he created this triangle and this thing actually has been taught in high level. To my knowledge, very few universities in Bangladesh are teaching this one. And university scholars, we teach it at master level, and not everybody as well. So at master level, you will learn about this one at university scholars, but not, not every class they will teach it as well. So sometimes if you're lucky, the teacher will teach it. Otherwise, it's actually very difficult to learn this one. So inshallah, you will use this one not only for class, it's actually for a lifetime. You can use it anywhere. So I hope that what I teach will be useful for you. So starting with the pyramid, that's how actually the Abraham Maslow created this one. He created the last two things. He created a triangle, a pyramid, with five different categories. He called the first one basic needs. Basic needs are basically, it's food, water, warmth, rest, and breathing. We all need to have food. We all need to have access to water, drinkable water. We need warmth. Warmth is basically clothes, heating, fire, rest. You have to sleep. You have to rest. Otherwise, you cannot actually continue living. And the last is breathing. You need to breathe clean air. You need to breathe, breathe fresh air. If you breathe toxic air, then you will get sick. This is the basic need of a human. So it's called physiological needs. This is the minimum, bare minimum that you would need to survive. 
in any condition you are in the world. The second thing, you would need safety needs. It's safety and security. By this it means safety is that your life is safe. Your life is not under the threat. So when you walk outside of the university or your neighborhood or somewhere here in Bangladesh, you need to have a feeling of safety that you are alive. Nobody will come and you know, try to do something bad to you. Second is security, is the security of your items, security of you know, belongings, whatever you have. You need to have this security things. Otherwise, living will be very, very difficult to live everyday life if you don't have safety and security. So this is the first primary basic needs. This is the least amount of things that you would need to survive. And this is only survivor level. So you need food, water, warmth, rest, breathing. The second basic need is security and safety. The next level of the pyramid, it's psychological needs. You will need belongingness and love, intimacy and friendship, which means belongingness that you need to have a belongingness to something. You have belongingness to a family, belongingness to a country, belongingness to somewhere that you actually recognize yourself that you are from that place. Love and intimacy, basically you would need a companionship, you will need a wife, you will need a husband, you will need a child, you will need something that you can relate to, it's something is very close to you, something that gives you meaning to life. As well as friendship, it's very nice to have friendship in life, of course, the friendship keeps you companionship, it's, it's enjoyment to have friendship, and if, in case if you have very bad friends and you don't enjoy it with your friends, then you're supposed to change your friends. So that's one of the things that you have to do is psychological need. Everything that around you, your life partner, your friendship, your children, a place where you go to as belongings, as home, it should be supporting you psychologically that when you go back, you actually feel you belong to it. It makes you actually more, it does give you more power, more energy when you are with your friends, when you are with your spouse, when you are with your parents, when you are with your children. It should not create negativity, it should create more positivity. So this is the third level of hierarchy, Maslow's hierarchy of needs, okay, psychological need. The second level is steam need, is a prestige and feeling of accomplishment. So basically, all of us have that need of feeling that we need to be recognized, is the recognition of your work. If you are a very good student, you want people to know that you did a very excellent work. If you are working about something, if you are programming something, if you are designing a t-shirt, you want to know that people appreciate what you do. You want to know that your boss, your manager, give you the recognition. It's the feeling of accomplishment, that you actually accomplish something, you can do something. You would need a promotion, you will need something. It's psychological need, okay? It's something that you want to have it. So that's the second thing, that's psychological need. Also another thing, basic needs, security also can be security of money, okay? It can be also security of money, that your money have to be secured. You need to have access to your wealth anytime that you need. And the last thing is self-actualization. Basically self-actualization is that you reach to the highest level of self-awareness that you already know what you want, you're already an accomplished person, you already know you are on the right path and you will achieve what you actually planned for. It's always good to have plan, not always we're gonna work, but it's always good to have plan rather than not having a plan at all. So self-actualization, -actual basically you already know what are you doing. That's the maximum level of Maslow hierarchy of needs. So that's basically self achieving one's full potential. You already know what you need. So they are self-fulfillment needs, psychological need, and basic need. You, this is what will be basically Maslow's hierarchy of needs. This is how you can apply it and look into your life and design it through. However, also you can fall. You can at any time in your life, you can be at the top, you can fall all the way to the lowest point. You might already have a house, you have money, you have a job, you have everything you need. 
you might actually at the time sometimes you might lose all of it and go back to the basic things you would need safety you need security you need to have warmth you lost your house you lost something so you need a place to sleep you will communicate with friends so you are in different situation stages of life it can go up it can go down it depends on your situation but as long as you are aware of it that this is happening to you how can you fix it okay when you go through a difficult time when you go through trauma when you go through problems you have to wait and think why is this is happening to me what happened that led me to this situation why I'm facing this is why and how if you have it you have to ask okay now I have this problem how I can go out from this situation how can I get myself out of this crisis okay think about how and why why it happened and how it happened and how can you get yourself from this how can you solve this problem this is the most thing two things are important why and how so basically any one of us can go to any stage of this one okay, you can go up you can go down it depends on your situation sometimes your manglish you can be at the top okay you achieved yourself already you already finished your full potential achievement at the same time if you decide to go to another country uh, you might actually go all the way down you might start to look for food you might start to look for shelter so you would not need something to go back to then you will have this psychological need you will miss your family you will miss your your wife or your husband and you want to go back you'll miss your friends you will miss your you know whatever you did before in Bangladesh if you went abroad so these things actually can go up and down it depends on your current situation so please don't remember this hierarchy this will be in a test memorize it understand it it's very crucial that you understand it. it's not only memorization you have to understand it because once you understand it then you will when anything happens to you you will know that you're going through it then you will know how to solve it so this is the end of this presentation thank you very much students this four presentation will be in the exam possibly there might be one more video i'm not sure yet about it but if there is one video video i will do it as soon as possible and it will be uploaded otherwise the midterm exam will be these four videos it will be the first video second video third video and this fourth video this is a summary of the entire last almost six weeks we had here from beginning semester till midterm so if you have any questions please let me know i am available here at the university if you have anything please email me i will make the test as easy as possible so far the test is all multiple choice i'm sure that you will do well the test midterm is 30 percent of your grade so please study well and re review these videos okay all the tests will be from these videos if you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you very much and best of luck.